conference is crammed because one of the biggest stars in the world is here. Ironically, not primarily a movie star. Okay, one more minute, and that's all. David Bowie yes. plays an army officer in Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, a film set in a Japanese prisoner of war camp and directed by Nagisa Oshima. Is it worth coming to Cannes to cope with the pressures of Cannes to sell a movie like Merry Christmas? <laughs> I think that um, a cultural co-production like Merry Christmas deserves every poundage of health that it can get because it's, uh, otherwise it can be relegated to a position of an art movie. It's awful, really, uh, unbelievably diabolical. Um, I do it very rarely. This is like the second time I've done it in, in God knows how many years. But this, I, I appreciate the value of doing it. There's time to make, uh, to be public with things. I mean, I, I don't know. I've always been a pretty private person, but I think I, I'm changing somewhat that I think it's now important for me as an artist to it's, it's slowly dawned on me that, that part of an artist's responsibility is to make himself open to um, the people that are trying to understand his work still not at ease with the situation but it's it's it, it start, it's making sense now do you agree a hundred percent with Oshima is the final product the way it would have been if you directed it no absolutely not it would be absolutely nothing like that I mean I there's no way I could I could even remotely get near to the kind of work that Oshima has done. Uh, it's so inherently from a Japanese sensibility that it's um, it's uh, just an impossibility. I, I guess it would have been a complete. It would have been the antithesis. It would have be, become a complete readdressment of the of the Japanese Western situation. He's got a, such a peculiar balance in the movie between the stylistic acting of the Japanese, which he's retained, and the ne sort of neo-realist acting of the Westerners, and kept them against each other to produce this almost dream state. How do you plead? Not guilty. I'm not a criminal. I am a soldier with His Majesty's Army. One month ago, I came out of the Jar Jar Sinpoa Mountains. I surrendered to Colonel Utsumi of the Imperial Japanese Army, who was imprisoned at Tsukubumi. I was kept for three days in solitary confinement, and I was questioned by Lieutenant Ito. He asked me my name and my rank, and I told him. And Lieutenant Ito asked me, is that true? I replied, of course it is. I'm with the British Army. Do you mean you will never give a false name? Let me ask you something. Why would a man who's about to die give a false name? A Japanese soldier, if caught, would give a false name. But then, a Japanese soldier would never submit to being caught. He would prefer to die. But then, I'm not a Japanese. Why? Did you refuse to tell the interrogating officer anything about yourself? You must tell us your past history. My past is my business. I read that one of the reasons you're moving towards a slightly more altruistic form of art now is because of your son, Zawi Bawi. You sort of felt you owed it to him. Is that the case? I think it, it's become more than just a debt. I mean, yeah, it, it, I think that being a... Again, it's funny, but the, the, all the basic truths sound so simple and naive, but they are, and there's no getting around it. Being a father makes a hell of a lot of difference. And when you start to see... Yeah, your life through your son's life and, and vice versa, th something makes sense again when, when sense might have gone a few years previously. There's a return to not uh, good old-fashioned values by any means because I, I, st I still support change, but that one can harness the energies of uh, being an artist into some kind of positive direction. And uh, uh, my son was instrumental in, in pulling me to that kind of direction. Twelve miles away from the incessant bustle of Cannes lies the hotel.